exercise 5 22 and 24 preparing closing your cheese and multi-step income statement for a merchandising company the adjusted trial balance of business reduction systems at march 31st 2016 so here we have the adjusted trial balance here are the assets accounts here are the liabilities accounts and here are the equity accounts now requirements journalize the required closing entries he is asking for the closing entries as you know we have four closing entries the first one is to close revenues the second one to close expenses the third one to close income summary and the last one to close withdrawals okay so the first one let's start with the first one i want to close revenues okay what are the revenues account that we have in this question we have only this one sales revenue as you can see it's on the credit side to close it means i need to make the balance to this account equals to zero so i need to debit the same amount so sales revenue will be in the debit side and on the credit side i'm gonna credit income summary and the amount here it's 234,000 okay so we are done with the first one let's go to the second one now in the second closing entry this is a merchandising company so in the second closing entry i need to close expenses cost of goods sold and contra revenue accounts what are these accounts so contra revenues are sales returns and allowance sales discount and we have expenses selling admin interest and we have cost of goods sold so we have six accounts all of them are debit so to close them i need to credit all of this to make the balance equals to zero okay so on the debit side i'm gonna debit income summary and i'm gonna credit all of these accounts sales returns and allowances sales discount cost of goods sold selling expenses admin expenses and interest expenses so we have 1500 credit 1900 14 600 and last one 2000 now i need to find the total to be debited to the income summary account so the total on the debit side will be 141 200 now the third closing entry is to close income summary because income summary it's not a real account it's an account that will help me in the closing process to help in closing revenues and expenses so now i need to close it and i need to transfer the balance to the capital account which is the only permanent equity account okay so we have three temporary accounts which are revenues expenses and withdrawals i need to close them and transfer the balances to the only permanent equity account which is capital okay so now we need to close income summary so i need to draw a t account for the income summary i don't have a place so i'm going to do it here income 
semi. So in the first entry, I credited income summary with this amount. So 234,000 and this was for revenues. In the second entry, I debited income summary with 141,200 and this is total expenses and contra revenues. So now let's find the balance. It's going to be 92,800. 92,800. Now is it debit or credit? This is the greater side. So it's going to be here. 92,800. So revenues were greater than my expenses. So this is my net income. Now I have a credit balance. To close it, I need to debit income summary. So income summary will be in the debit side and capital will be in the credit side because we have a net income situation. If it was net loss, I would have the balance in the debit. So to close it, I'm going to credit income summary and debit capital. So here 92,800. This is the net income amount. Now, the last closing entry is to close withdrawals. As you can see, withdrawals is debited here. Now, to close it, I need to credit withdrawals. So, I'm going to debit capital and credit withdrawals. Again, capital because it's the only permanent equity account so we close revenues and expenses to the income summary then i'm gonna close income summary and transfer the balance to the capital then we need to close withdrawals and transfer the balance to the capital account so the amount is forty thousand. so we are done with requirement number one these are the closing entries Requirement number two, set up T accounts for income summary. We already did. Capital, withdrawals, and post the closing entries to the T accounts and calculate the ending balances. So for the withdrawals, it's going to be zero. For the capital, I need to draw a T account for the capital. Okay. So the beginning balance for the capital was what? This one. It's credited. At 14 100 this is my beginning balance now in the first closing entry there is no capital in the second one no capital in the third one i credited capital with 92 800 which is the net income amount then in the fourth entry, I debited capital with 40,000, which is the withdrawals amount. So it's like an equity statement. It's beginning plus net income less withdrawals. So 14,100 plus 92,800 less 40,000. It's going to be... 66,900. This is the ending balance. It's going to be 66,900. This is my ending balance. Okay, so we are done with requirement number two. And here, if you want to check your answer, ending balance for the capital, it's the same. Now, requirement number three how much was business reduction, net income, or net loss? So you can get this answer from the income summary T account. We said it's going to be net income because my revenues amount was greater than my expenses. So I'm going to get a net income of 92,800. So we are done with this question. Let's go to the next one. Now this is question 24. He is asking for a multi-step income statement. Now, single step income statement is revenues less expenses. 
equals net income or net loss. So in one step, we can get net income or net loss. But here I need to find subtotals to reach to the net income. So we're going to start with sales revenue. I'm going to subtract sales discount and sales returns and allowances to get net sales. From the net sales, we subtract. Cost of goods sold to get gross profit. Then we subtract operating expenses, which are selling an admin, to get operating income or loss. Then we have this section, which is other revenues or expenses, which means other than operating. So on the interest expense, we subtract it. If it's interest revenue, we add it. Then we get the net income. Okay. Let's find the sales revenue amount. It's here. 234,000. I need to subtract sales discount and sales returns and allowances. So we have 1,500 and 1,900. So 1,900 for the discount, 1,500 for the sales returns and allowances. So 234 less 1900 and 1500 it's 230 600 less cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is 93 600 i'm gonna subtract this amount okay It's going to be 137. Now, less operating expenses. Selling expenses are 27,600. Admin expenses is 14,600. So, 27,600 plus. 14,600 is going to be 42,200. Now I need to subtract total operating expenses from gross profits. So 137 less 42,200, it's going to be 94,800. Interest expense is 2,000. So I need to subtract interest expense. So this is your total other revenues and expenses. You don't have any other revenues or expenses. So the answer will be 92,800. Now to double check, we said gross profit is 137. Is it 137 or not? Yes. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Please like, share and subscribe.